Hello and welcome back to Zero Zero Meat Explains. <clears throat> Actually, it's Zero Zero Meat Plays, but I'm explaining right now, so it's going in the Explains playlist. Now, I'd like to cover some more fa some more things on SmurfyNet.de. I'd like to show you the uh, the weapons lab and the engines. Now, you'll see here. If you've watched the previous video, you you know what's going on here. This is the representation of a mech and the space available in the different uh, sections in it. So you see here this has a standard 300 engine in it and this standard 3 engine is only <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, like six or seven spots or quit slots that it's taking up. So let's replace that with a XL300 and see what happens. Oh. Actually let's uh, let's load stock loadout. There's one more thing I want to show you. There we are. So, tonnage 75 of max 75. Great. Now let's dump this engine and go for the XL300. We scroll down here on the right until we hit 300. There it is. And drag and drop that into here. Oh, here, let's move this so it'll fit. Because that's part of what I want to show you. <coughs> So, you see this takes up the same amount of slots here in the citra torso, but now it expands out to the side torso, taking up three slots in each side. Which means that if you, that you don't have room, as much room for uh, guns and ammo in these sides. And honestly, you don't want to keep any exploding ammo over here, because if it explodes, it'll blow up part of your engine and cause you to fall over and not continue in the match. Uh, when shot. <coughs> But the what's the advantages to this though? Look over here. Remember how this is, was at 75 ton out of 75 before? Now it's at 65.5. We've freed up almost 10 tons by switching to an XL engine, and uh, 10 tons can mean a lot of weapons. That could be a difference of one, two, three, four, five, six. Dynamic armor. Who uses dynamic armor? Standard armor. I'll show you, that, show you what that is in a minute. Seven. There we go. Um, so the heat efficiency on that has just shot up because it went from 10 heat sinks to 17. <coughs> uh, heat sinks help your mech dissipate heat from firing from firing weapons. Um, all right. So let's let's take those off and let me show you. Tools, load stock, loadout. Let me show you uh, these things over here. So right now, this mech is equipped with, with equipped with Artemis. You'll see here the SRM4 takes up two spots. If we click this, and it only takes up one. Now, the difference between Artemis and non-Artemis is that Artemis does more damage and has a tighter grouping. <coughs> uh, we also have ferrofiber armor. Uh, equipped on this mech, so let's turn that back to standard. And uh, go on. Oh, I see. It doesn't have the weight for it. Here, the weight for it. Okay. Now we're sitting at 16 tons free, free, right? So we set that back to standard, and now we're at 14.5. It saves. It it gives you, or it makes your armor lighter but it also takes up 14 crit slots that are dynamically allocated throughout your mech. Change that to Indosteel instead, and we're up to 18 tons free. Indosteel is the internal structure of your mech. It's used as a lighter metal or something. Uh, it takes up more room, but it frees up significantly more space than ferrofiber would, or significantly more uh, tonnage than ferrofiber would. So I'll usually start off with double heat sinks and endo steel if it's a mech that I like and want to run a lot. All right, uh, double heat sinks they take, they take up three crit slots and but only dissipate 1.4 times as much heat as a single heat sink. Let's show you the difference there. There we go, standard heat sink. Um, what else? I think that's good. Oh yes, I was going to show you the weapons lab. So let's put another ballistics back on this. Let's go AC5. AC5s are fun. All right, weapons lab. Here, no, no, I already showed you this. That's damage per second. Okay, what I didn't show you is that uh, 
this line here is your, uh, let's say, optimum range of the weapon. And this line here is the extended range. It'll usually go, for energy at least, it'll go about twice the uh, normal range uh, before it hits zero damage per second, at which point there's no point in shoot, at which point there's no sense in shooting them because you're not going to do any damage <clears throat> unless you just want to bother them or get their attention or distract them or something. There's always reasons. Yep. Oh yes, uh, cool run max skill, which makes you uh, seven point like seven point five percent uh, better at dissipating heat. Uh, heat containment, which gives, lets you contain more heat. We'll see right there. <clears throat> and uh, elite level un unlock, which gives you these again. So it's doubled basically. All right, that's about as much as I wanted to cover in uh, this video. I wanted to show you the uh, some of the different systems and, uh, and other features of this. Thanks for watching, and feel free to like and subscribe, and hope you have a great day. Thanks.